Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made this procedural sky texture of the Cosmic Microwave Background in Blender. The Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, is the leftover radiation from the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang. In fact, it's one of the strongest forms of evidence for the Big Bang Theory. This image here is an actual image of the Cosmic Microwave Background taken with the WMA probe. Simply put, when we look at the night sky with our eyes, we're used to seeing stars and planets and basically blackness, but if you point a microwave telescope to any part of the night sky, you see this microwave signal in every direction. In fact, it's shown to be more or less uniform in every direction you look. It's the same in every part of the universe, except for these very small differences you see here in this picture. If you're a Stargate fan like me, it might interest you that this was the signal that Dr. Nicholas Rush was trying to decode to find some evidence of intelligence in the Stargate Universe series. Anyway, I thought I'd try and replicate this sky texture in Blender, so let's get started. So what we're making is the cosmic microwave background, which is essentially what the sky looks like in the microwave spectrum. So what we're going to be doing is modifying the weld texture here on the right hand side. To do that, you go to the top left and select Shader Editor, and this is where we're going to be building our node structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a texture coordinate node. Next thing I'm going to add is a noise texture. And I'm going to connect the generated node to the vector node of the noise texture. Next thing I'm going to add is a mix RGB node. And I'm going to connect the fraction of the first to the color one input channel of the mix RGB shader. Next thing I'm going to add is a vector math node. And I'm going to connect the color node of the noise texture to the first vector input and then connect the vector output to the color two channel of the mix RGB node. Then I'm going to change the add to a cosine vector operation. Let's just move these last two nodes over a little bit to give us some real estate. Next thing I'm going to add is a hue saturation node and I'm going to connect the output of the color node from the mix RGB shader to the hue saturation node. The next step is to add a color ramp channel, color ramp node, and just connect the color to the fraction and the color output to the background shader. So after a bit of experimentation, I found these settings work quite well. So if you change your noise texture to a 4D noise texture, uh, the, the W channel just lets you change uh, the variation, the randomness of the texture itself. So I used a scale of 66, detail of 0 0.90, roughness of 0 0.525 and a distortion of 0 0.10. For the mix RGB, I had a fraction of 0 0.125. For the hue saturation value, I had a hue of 0 0.90, a saturation of 0 0.40, a value of one, and this is where it gets slightly more complicated. For the color ramp channel, I had six colors, so I'm going to click the plus sign four times, and I'm just going to adjust these sliders just roughly to start with to get them in approximately the right position. And for this one up here, I want to have a roughly a red color. Next one down, a yellow color. I'm just trying to imitate the colors of the real uh, cosmic microwave background image. The next one is a darkish green color. Next one is a dark blue. And the last two are pure black. I'll select changing it from linear to ease type here. And I'm just gonna give some precise values for these ones here. So for the first one here, the position is 0 0.35 and that one has a RGB value of 100, so pure red. 
the yellow color it has a coordinate of 0 0.409 and its RGB value is 0 0.70, 0 0.58 and 0 0.02. The green color has a position of 0 0.50 its RGB value is 0 0.01, 0 0.29, and 0 0.02. The blue color that has an RGB value of 0, 0, 0 0.75, and has a position of 0 0.634. The black color, first black color, has a position of 0 0.674 and the last one has a position of one. So let's just pull up this window here, switch to the 3D viewport, make sure you've got the render engine set to EV, and let's just have a look at what it looks like. So let's just delete the default cube here, and that looks pretty good. Feel free to adjust any of these values that you like, if you want to randomize the, the uh, cosmic microwave background a little bit, you can drag this W value here on the noise texture node and that will give you a new randomized geometry each time. If you liked this tutorial and would like to see more like it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.